All right, and welcome everybody uh, here in Twitch chat and also on YouTube if you're watching this later for our next deck, which is going to be Selesnia Angels. Um, this was a deck that I, of course, really liked playing uh, the previous format, um, but I haven't really played it too much with RNA, but let's go ahead and give it another try. Um, as you can tell, for the most part, we are uh, basically just mono white. Uh, white has, you know, kind of everything on the curve for us. The main reason why we're playing green is, well, two reasons. One, we have Vivian Reed, which Vivian Reed is just an amazing planeswalker, as we know um, from like seeing that in the the Sultai decks. Um, ah, yes, I have to change the stream title. Good call, good call. Um, Forgot I gotta change that back. Change the category to Magic the Gathering. Thanks, press any. Um So yeah, so Vivian Reed's awesome. And then we have Kral Harpooners in the in the sideboard for our mono blue matchup because that deck is just really, really popular these days. So I love having a bunch of harpooners in the sideboard. Um we have all these. We have a bunch of honor guards in the main deck for the Sultai matchup. Same with Knight of Grace is really good there as well. With their all their removal being black, we have a Johnny that can uh, get these creatures back, pump them up, do all that kind of stuff. Um, so we're we're kind of like a, a hate bears kind of deck with with like these also, and then with the angels at the top end. Um, we also get to only have to, we only have to play twenty three lands because we have the four flower flourishes as well that help helps fix our mana. And also, if we ever cast Flourish, that's awesome. But we don't usually cast Flourish too much. So, <laughs> Harpooner is not too slow against Mono Blue. It is still very good there. <clears throat> All right, Magic Harry with the Twitch Prime sub. Thank you so much, Magic Harry. Really do appreciate that. And here we go. Selesnia Angels. All right, so that's sub number 17. Looks like I was one off there. Okay, Gruel Frenzy. I need to now make a... I need to make a thumbnail for Gruel Frenzy for, the YouTube, for that YouTube video. So apologies, I'm going to be away from the chat for just a minute while I make this. Uh, yep, hands good. Almost done. Perfect. Um, let's go get a planes. I really can't wait until we can, until, until they change it, um, and you can start to change your lands again. I don't like these planes, but we can't can't do anything about it. We have to. Yeah, you know, I can't wait till they let us. Update those in the deck builder again. That's going to be an, a good day. Cool friends. Good job, Honor Guard. Way to do your thing. Yeah, I know you can like I know you can like repaste in and everything. It's it's just a big pain. 
That's just not something that I that I want to deal with while I'm streaming and and you know making new deck and all that kind of stuff. Swab Goblin. Do not fear, my friend. We're Deliver playing goblins. To victory. We're playing against gobos. This is like the second beginner deck we've played today. Look how far you have come. All right, Dr. Pez. That's pretty cool. That's a nice combo. Ravenous Har Harpy, steal my Honor Guard and then sack it. You should probably attack with it first before sacking it, but you know. Oh well. Yeah, Mono Blue had a really good weekend. Um, I think that's a that's a deck that you want to. Be prepared for with your sideboarding decisions right now. Capable of I think having a little shoot. extra for Mono Blue is certainly good. It's an easy deck to put together um, as far as like card rarity and all that kind of stuff goes. I'm just going to hold the Respondent Angel back. I don't really know any reason why holding it back gonna matter too much or anything. Strength is born of struggle. We had a really good curve too. Kinda of wasted a really good curve on on the precon deck. Okay. Our opponent's doing pre-con deck. Do I need to change anything? Probably Dante Vanguard's like the card I like the least, but I don't think we really need to change it. I'm just gonna keep it. Yeah, to be able to beat Mono Blue, you want to be able to get on the battlefield um, early. Mono Blue does a really good job of interacting with the stack. And so if you're playing more expensive spells, um, they do a really good job of countering them. So you want to play a lot of cheap spells um, to be able to uh, stay low and and be able to cast multiple spells in a turn where they can't counter like everything and, and so on. So yeah, like Mono Red Aggro... Um, mono white aggro. Those are decks that can get on the battlefield quickly and, and outrace mono blue. Yeah, I I agree. Uh, whales. That's a that's a good good thing. Yeah, they could. That would be kind of nice for them to there to be a prompt with being like, hey, if you're a newer player and you just have like this pre-con deck, don't spend a thousand gold to enter the competitive event. It will not end well for you.
They just want to turn their 1-1 into a 2-2? Sure. And now we'll just activate Shalai for the rest of the game. And just kind of do that every single turn. Until the game ends. Activate Shalai, attack with Shalai and Lyra. Grixis Legends. Let's get this one up on YouTube now. So yeah, sorry I'm getting this stuff ready to go. Alright, and I'm back in the chat. Uh, this will probably not be our last deck for today. I am, I'm, you know, planning on streaming till, um, till at least 10. So another three hours. So, you know, I think we're, we'll be, uh, playing another deck after this. Um, undetermined what that deck will be. Yeah. Yeah, I could do Nia Legends. Nia Legends is really fun to play. We could do some Nia Legends. Do I have any Gates decks? I, I had a Teamer Gates deck um, a while ago towards the beginning of RNA, and then Gates kind of blew up quite a bit, and um, I haven't touched it too much since then. Um, but I did like my, my Gates deck. Ugh. I've only played Bottle Blue one time. We did go 5-0. I've only actually played the deck one time. Ugh. But I usually play like kind of decks off the beaten path more than the most popular decks. Hey, what's up, Boot? Um, I don't really do the ladder stuff because I, I like doing these individual events with how I play lots of different decks. And so I like them uh, you know, going with each one with uh, play, paying the entry fee. Um, and winning prizes and so on. No, my Johnny. Dude, that Johnny was gonna be sweet. Dude, what if our opponent? What if our opponent's playing Grixis Legends? All right, it certainly could be Ritual of Set, but I'm not counting on it. So I'm not. Yeah, I'm not really playing around Ritual of Set here. Ooh, Bedeck. Alright, it's not Grixis Legends. Yeah, I, I kind of... The question is, what do you think is, uh, is the future of Magic Online? Just a place to play older formats. And yeah, I could kind of see that. Um, I guess I'll sacrifice. Two twos don't do a whole lot against a five five. I could see that. Um, I do. I do kind of feel like the future of Magic Online is to start becoming more like Arena. Um, and the in December, um, 
there was like a state of the state of the program announcement and um that's what they talked about was maybe implementing some some parts of arena over to magic online uh that people like such as like maybe the auto tapper and and things like that maybe get try to get some better graphics and stuff like that play a deck around the kaya planeswalker I have an Esper Taking Turns deck that I like a whole lot uh, that has Kaya, but most people don't like the Esper Taking Turns because it's for Nexus of Fate, for Karn's Temporal Sundering, and so you have eight extra turn spells. So like your goal is just to take all of the all of the cards, um, or sorry, take all of the turns. I think it's a card that meant turns. But we begin. But yeah, if we just went Orzov. Dun, 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 dun. I guess it's worth it to trade Resplendent Angel for Demanding Dragon. It's like if I if I don't trade, they likely find some way to kill the Resplendent Angel and start hitting me for five with that Demanding Dragon. I don't need this. I so need this. So I, I originally thought that best of one would be a lot faster way to climb um, as far as ranked purposes go. Um, but I'm, I'm not so sure it is, honestly. There are none greater than I. Yeah, Resplendent Angel did not make a token because the Resplendent Angel was dead. It has to be on the battlefield at the end step to trigger. And, of course, it was not on the battlefield, so it did not trigger. All right, let's get this Vanguard. Get the extra Vivian, the Carnage Tyrants, and the more Bindings. Cutting Honor Guard... What if I want Harpooner? Nah. Um, what are the other two cards I want to cut? We saw that game that like the two drops don't really matter too much. I think I can take out one of Johnny, one Knight of Grace. Would I? Do I want to play Harpooners? Because, yeah, like, they're a dragon deck, right? Like, they're just playing Bolas, Demanding Dragon, and Niv-Mizzet. Um, the problem is, is, like, my early turns get a whole lot worse if I'm just going to, like, sit on sit on Harpooners and wait for a long time. So I think I'm just going to have the Bindings instead. I think I like the Knight of Grace to put pressure on the opponent. I think, the Knight, I think, I think that's what I want to do here. But I could, I could see having Harpooners being a, a better option. Sky Tether. I don't know. I wish Sky Tether was better against Niv Mizzet than what it is. Takali does stop the ETB effect of Demanding Dragon and Niv Mizzet, but it's also just a 1 3, and it doesn't pressure my opponent. Um. And I don't think I want the 1-3. No, no Growth Chamber Guardians. Um, I could see Growth Chamber Guardian being a better card than Knight of Grace. Knight of Grace is good against aggro decks, though, with the first strike. And it's good against... Um, it's good against uh, Soul Tie. They... Again, with the first strike, and then how, like, they can't really remove it, besides finality. Alright, so option is either Vivian Reed shoot this down, or binding the Nicol Bolas, and they can't cast Nicol Boluses ever again. Those are the two options. Do I want to save binding for something else? I 
Every, everybody's saying binding Wild in chat, but I actually think I'm going to just play Sometimes Vivian. Sometimes restoration means retribution. You know, like having Vivian in play and being able to tick up and everything. And because if they spend the next turn of just casting Nicol Bolas again, you know we're going to be doing we're going to be doing okay with that. Every defeat is a new beginning. Well, that's annoying. I was saying that Vivian was going to be. You should be it was going to be like they couldn't get to Vivian I either you my strength. Um, because of Shalai. Like, Shalai was going to protect Vivian, but, you know, obviously that wasn't the case there. So, I'm keeping the land in hand because of Nicol Bolas. Um, don't want to... Hey, don't, don't need the, the caps lock on there, gear check. Um, but yeah, so that's what I was thinking was that that uh, it was a good time for Vivian. Uh, no sword can pierce my scales. Be strong. Impossible. Kind of a tough choice to make there because if we attack them for four, we put them down to like where the Knight of Grace kills them the next turn. But honestly, they have like a lot of things that can kill the Knight of Grace and stuff, and I, I, I like just getting Sarkin out of there. Yeah, I like getting Sarkin out of there for good. I will lend you my strength. I need to keep that land in my hand. Because of dis dispersal. If they dispersal. If they dispersal, they have me bounce the Carnage Tyrant and then I and discard it. I will fight on. Uh, both Zeref. I, I think they're pretty good. And I do like the, the flavor. Oh, I enjoy playing Angel Vex. Um, but I also do think they're pretty good. So, kind of both. Are you finished? Hmm. All right, so on the draw, we're not going to be nearly as fast, of course, on the draw. We not we will be nearly as fast, but we're not going to be as fast. Let's let's go with the harpooners over the knight of graces on the draw. I think we can, you know, try to play like the slower game here. Hey code junk doing good. Yeah, um, having a real good Sunday. Oh, you have a storm there in Toronto? Well, hope, hope you're staying safe. Um, what do I think of the new mulligan changes? I am I am pretty skeptical. Uh, I um, I think it's actually I think it's probably a good change for standard, but I'm pretty skeptical about it in older formats. Um, I overall like how the mulligan. I, I honestly like the mulligan rule these days. Uh, maybe I shouldn't be saying that whenever we're looking at, uh, when we're looking at this. 
but you know, I would want to kind of play. Um, play with the rule some before making too kind of, you know, like too ambitious of a decision. Um, there was a little bit of a um, the same kind of thing what people are saying about it of how it makes like you know whatever deck like too good. People were were kind of saying that also whenever this mulligan rule came in with having to scry, you know, before when we couldn't even scry, we didn't have a scry at all. Um, you know, since then it hasn't really proved that. The I think the mulligan rule has been good. Um, I am worried about that one in in other formats though, because that one seems like you can make like that decks are too consistent. I think basically how I'm summing it up is I don't want every single game to be defined about having your best cards all the time. I I like when it's I actually think that magic should be less like that than more like that. You know, I think that like having a well-rounded uh deck is um uh that you get to use all all the different parts of the deck and and um every card like really matters is a is a more enjoyable playing experience than consistently having like con consistently curving out all the time and having your best cards all the time and and so on what know you of dragons i don't need this so that's that's I my worry this. about the the upcoming london mulligan rule that they are uh trying out go on hit me again It'll be just tried out for one event uh, next month, currently. Bolas told me I should do this. That's a lot of Sarkins. The how this thing goes is up to you, pal. I'll take the harpooner over the land. I think we're gonna, you know, between our draw step and being able to have Vivian find a land, like I think we'll be okay for if our plan is just to play Carnage Tyrant next turn. Madness! <laughs> what madness! Uh. Did not want to see that. Really did not want to see that. Gosh, Eldest Reborn is so good. Especially here. Good draw, good draw. Very good draw. Eldest Reborn's out here. Don't doubt my methods. Go, Carnage Tyrant, go! And no, the opponent cannot have Eldritch Reborn anymore because of the Ixalan's Binding. They, of course, can have Dispersal. D dispersal would bounce the Tyrant um, and make me discard it, and that'd be sad. Hope they don't have that card. Look to the skies! Uh, 
And a hopefully this rather works. Die than lose. Hopefully this works. Alright, that was better than better than Night of Grace would have been. Good job, Harpooner. Dragon Hordes are pretty nice, though. You know, they they play another Nickel Bolas to get to draw two, uh, like they did that last turn. They cannot cast Reborn right now. I have Binding on Reborn, so we don't have to worry about Reborn. Oh, right. I forgot. I'm worried about dispersal. I forgot about that. Sorry. Yeah. My bad. I was supposed to worry about dispersal. Yeah, so should, should have been holding a, a land there for that. Absolutely. I was even talking about that earlier and then just kind of started playing the lands. All right, 2-0. Oh. Good job, Angels. So we're talking about playing Naya Legends as our deck for after this. Remember, tomorrow and Wednesday, we're going to be doing a 12-hour uh, stream. Doing those for the hitting the sub goals last Monday on my birthday, so we hit some sub goals for 12 hour streams. Um, we're a long ways away from the next one, but I'm also doing a 12 hour stream every 500 YouTube subscribers. So if you miss any of these videos, you want to see the replays, make sure you check out the YouTube channel, YouTube.com/c/toddstevensmtg, to be able to catch up on all of the action. This is my job right here, Lone Drifter. I'm here uh, seven hours a day, every day, from 3 to 10 Eastern. Um, and yeah, this is what I do. What do you think is a good counter deck for Mono Blue? Um, I've been having success with by throwing just a bunch of Kral Harpooners in all my sideboards. <laughs> Kind of been doing that. Uh, it's a good success. Um, we were we were 2-0 against Mono Blue earlier with Gruel Frenzy, uh, with that deck. Um, I I do think that like Sol Soul Tie can be tuned to beat Mono Blue, if you like playing some Soul Tie. And Soul Tie can kind of be tuned to beat anything. You're welcome. Ooh, I, yeah, I don't have the the here uh, FMC to um, go to my Twitch. You can find the Hawkeye deck in my Twitch replays. So if you go to you know on my Twitch page, there's like a, a videos tab. Go to the videos tab and go to my previous stream before today, the end of the day. Uh, that's where you can see that deck. You want to see to see the Hawkeye deck. You're pro no problem. You're welcome. Um. Hmm. Johnny or Vivian. I'm gonna have Vivian. I think, yeah, I'm gonna have Vivian. Uh, the reason why I want a Vivian before Johnny because I think I want to Vivian and and tick up and look for Liras 
and right. And so like I want to try to find Lyra's um you know, like Lyra Shalai's, you know that kind of stuff, like my angels. The angels are are very good here. That's kind of annoying. Hmm. I guess that that attack didn't really work out. I didn't live through balance comes. That's not a Lyra. Uh, what deck would I suggest for grinding? Probably Soltai, honestly. Um, it's really good against everything, but it's not. It's kind of a difficult deck to play, though. Um, hmm. Uh, I would have said mono blue before, but mono blue is going to be just kind of on everybody's radar now. And so I'm not sure if like mono blue is exactly where you want to be right now. Uh, strike me. Maybe you want to play like mono red nature. or mono white. Um, that's going to be good against mono blue. Meet my newest friend. Strike me and you strike nature. What does that even mean? I guess that the Vivian is nature. If you're if you're attacking Vivian, you're attacking nature. We have settled in the sideboard. So we got game one. So now the vanguards are gonna come on or vanguards coming out, settle coming in. Um Knight of Autumn in also. Sky Tether in. So this is 62. I'm gonna take out an Johnny. Maybe two. Yeah, probably just take out two Ajani's. Uh, what am I thinking about binding? Do I want more binding, less binding? Yeah, this is kind of like an updated version of the previous Lesnia Angels, I think. Um, this is like updated for like the metagame currently. Hey Dutch. Well, I'm I'm glad you're here, and thanks for the the kind words and everything. Thanks for watching. Um, so Sky Tether, we're just gonna like, like this is just one mana removal on like one of their creatures. Um, Harpooner isn't really killing their creatures except for like the they only have like the two one flyer, really there. I think I'm gonna keep it like this. One a Johnny, two binding. I could see going zero a Johnny. Yeah, maybe I may just go zero a Johnny and get a binding in here. Stop. Get another binding. Get that Knight of Grace back in. Yeah, cause um, cause I'm I'm at work right now. This is how I like to uh, this is how I like to present myself and everything. I do like Takali Honor Guard in this matchup, though, because specifically for Venerated Luxodon, like, not only it's a 1-3, like, the 1-3 is, like, an okay blocker against, like, their smaller creatures, but then also stopping Venerated Luxodon uh, is pretty big game as well. Ah, uh, Dutch, that's really, really kind of you. Thank you so much for subscribing there. I really do appreciate that. That is sub number 18. So two more, and we'll be cracking open a pack. Uh, let's start flowering, get some lands.
correct. Knight of Autumn is our one card that does, is not going to pair well with Takali Honor Guard. Um, just kind of, oh well. Just, uh, we do have that that one non-bow, as people call it. It's a combination that's not so good. Alright, so I'm shocking now to get Resplendent Angel in play, because next turn, whenever I hold up Settle, um, I don't want to, like, shock and then pass. Because if I shock next, like, if I play some pedal there, um, and then shock and pass, it's really just telling my opponent um, that I certainly have Settle the Wreckage. And I don't necessarily want to give it away. Um, I do not know anything about the that specific Fog of War deck. I don't know anything about that. No problem, your stream's great both technically and entertainment value. I'm on the road quite a bit, so it's a great way for me to pass the time. Oh, that's... Yeah, thanks for the kind words again. And the wreckage has been settled. And das game. 3 0 for Selesnia Angels. Coming on through here. <laughs> Fastest conceit I've ever seen. Dun, dun. All right, I like this hand. That's why I like Flower Flourish, you know? Like, it just... Your mana is, like, always, like, pretty good, like, color-wise, thanks to Flower Flourish being in the deck. <laughs> nice. Yeah, no, I like Bant Value. Absolutely. I'm glad... Yeah, glad you're enjoying that one. Let's see, we have... Uh... Bl blind. There we go. Blind. Let's go with that. Blind with the Twitch Prime sub. Getting that hype in the channel. Thank you so much, Blind. Sub number 19 on the day. Let's update that total. Sub number 19. So one more and we'll be cracking open another pack. Almost pack time. This looks like this is going to be mono blue aggro. Yep. So the good thing about having honor guard in play against mono blue aggro is that if we get to resolve an angel, they don't usually have anything to do um, with that. So yeah, what makes flower flourish better than land of elves is the question. And um, they do different things. So, Land of Elf uh, um, speeds you up and everything, but you need a lot of green mana to be able to play Land of Elves, and specifically early. You need to have like your early green mana. Um, where this deck, because of playing uh, four Resplendent Angel, four History of Banalia, it's pretty tough to play to have double white on turn three consistently, as well as playing. Um, Land of War Elf. It's just pretty difficult to do that. Um, and uh, it's kind of just... It's a little difficult just to have um, 
double white on turn turn three consistently anyway. And that's what Flower Flourish does. It helps you have that. So Flower Flourish just helps fix the specific colors of mana that you have and not necessarily uh, the amount of mana. It doesn't help there. The problem with Shalai here, Shalai does not match up against Tempest Jin at all. Um, yeah, just really does not at all. Um... Basically, if they have a counter spell to go with these Tempest Jins, I'm just kind of dead. I wish they did. Blind says, hey, I've been really digging your stream. I've been playing the Gate deck minus Nexus this week and learned a lot watching you. Uh, thanks for the great content. Aw, you're welcome, Blind. Thanks for that sub. All right, let's get the Sky Tether in here. Um... These harpooners. With the honor guard coming on out for the harpooners. Um, and a Johnny does put the counter on Shalai. That's kind of about it. I think bindings are like too expensive for what they're doing. Maybe you want this other vanguard in here. We got some Carnage Tyrant. Is Carnage T better than any of these other things? Oh, let's get this Knight in here. Yeah, let's get a Knight for Obsession. Get two knights taking a Johnny out. Um, best angel deck for the current metagame. This is my first time playing this one uh, in this metagame, but I am excited about it. I do like having all these Kral Harpooners these days. Um,. I've had the most success overall with Mardu Angels, just like throughout the leagues and everything. Yeah, replacement for an Angel of Grace. Uh, um, you can just play, play another Vivian, um, play another Shalai, uh, just get the fourth Adanto Vanguard in the main deck, um, get an excellent another excellent binding in there. Thank, thank you so much for getting out a couple subs there. Uh, a question here is, would you consider trading Magic, Car Magic Arena cards like on Steam Market, the game items? I suppose so. I don't know how you do that or anything. I don't, I don't know much about trading Arena cards, but I suppose that's what would be considered. But yeah, Trith, thank, thank you so much. That gets us uh, to 21 subs on the day. Gets us past that uh, That that mark there so uh la menager full fully and syscoms anyway those are our subs here let's get some hype in the chat for santa trith thanks santa trith for those gifts All right, 21. So that means we're gonna have pack time after this. Okay. Oh, okay, yeah. I talked to you at, at an SG open, cool. Yeah, thank you so much. And Let's see. So this is what our sky tether is for. Let's go ahead and tether this Tempest Jin. 
Get that thing down there. We'll play this Resplendent Angel. Um, I I never really played out too much against Nexus. I'll, I'll concede if they have, you know, if they're have like you know twenty cards in their library and they have Ascanta and a lot of mana. You know, they just have like Ascanta and like multiple Wilderness Reclamations, um, and lots of mana and stuff like that. Hey, Softball Wolf. Yes, creatures get hexproof with Shalai, but that means creatures on the battlefield. Casting a creature is uh, is like putting a creature spell on the stack. It's just a spell on the stack. You can still counter it and everything. Um, it's only whenever a creature is has resolved and is on the battlefield uh, is when um, the fact that it gains hexproof matters. Yeah, they have two Reclamations and Ascanta. Yeah, that's a perfectly reasonable place to scoop them up. So we'll be able to fight this Terramander, even if they have Dive Down to save the Terramander. We'll still have the 3 2 reach. The Sky Tether's doing work, though. Keeping that Tempest Gen at bay. Yeah, mono, yeah, mono blue uh, had a really impressive weekend. Had a really good weekend, um, absolutely. Um, which means that the metagame is likely going to adapt to it because we have been playing against a whole lot of mono blue today uh, during stream. It's been the most popular deck by miles, um, and uh, so I could see like the metagame, like basically everybody having a lot more hate for mono blue um, coming up. So I don't think this is, so basically what I'm saying is I don't think this is a, a great time to be playing the deck. That's what I'm saying. Which film do you think will win as best movie? Um... I don't know much about the Oscars, um, and I, I couldn't even name, I could not name all the, the, the movies that are nominated for Best Picture. Um, Roma is the one, I've, I have heard like a little, I've heard like some, some discussion about it. Roma does seem like the favorite. Um, I think, if I remember correctly, wasn't Roma nominated for Best, like Best, picture and best cinematography and it, and it was also like the only movie that's ever been nominated for both of those awards i believe that's the case um and for what i heard it will likely if if that's the right movie if that's the one that i'm thinking of um and uh if that's if that's the movie, whatever that movie is, uh, I heard that that one's like almost a shoe in for best cinematography. It was a black and white movie. I, I don't know much about Roma. Um, if, if that's Roma, if that's the one that I'm talking about, uh, but it was a black and white movie that's going to win for best cinematography most likely. All right, game three against Mono Blue. Ugh.
we have we have a lot of stuff here. You know, we have like these harpooners and a bunch of angels. So it's got, probably going to be pretty tough for, for on our opponent. So anyway, I do have one other Twitch bounty to go ahead and do after this league. So after uh, after this league, um, hope y'all st stick around. Um, again, we we uh, did the Twitch bounty with. Um, uh, um, Gosh, uh, Dollar Shave Club. <laughs> Sorry, Dollar Shave Club. We did that earlier. Um, we're going to be doing uh, Old Spice uh, Fresh Hair. Breath of Fresh Air. We'll be watching a little clip on that and talking about Old Spice Fresh, fresh Air uh, for a few minutes. Um, so hope you all stick around through that uh you know does help does really help me out um and uh shrapnel with the twitch prime sub thank you so much shrapnel welcome to the channel full rudy hidden mythic good job good job full rudy way to go um i like lyra i don't really like knight of grace too much though let's just go ahead and mulligan this Paragrip also with the Twitch Prime stuff. Y'all are amazing. Thank you so much for the subscriptions. I really do appreciate that. Well, thanks, Full Rudy. I'm glad you've been learning learning a lot in the channel. It's all good. Um, you know, watching and not chatting much, all good. And thank you so much, Paragrip. Shrapnel has been playing since revised. Dang. My favorite card from Revised was Royal Assassin. I really liked Royal Assassin. Just killing all these tapped creatures. I'm not trying to say something about personal hygiene at live tabletop events. No, like those are just those are like the two that were available uh, for me. To do. And Santa DJ Polly B Gifting out another sub to Tater. Ooh, I love that. That is very aggressive from the opponent. We get to play this Resplendent Angel. Love that. So that's sub number 25. We're going to have two packs to open up here also. They're down to only one card in hand, which, if my math is right, is not many cards in hand. Okay, now what do I want to do with Flower Flourish here? I'm going to I'm going to get another basic out of my deck. I don't think I'm going to I don't think I'm going to cast Flourish because I want to activate Resplendent Angel whenever I get to six mana. So let's just. Let's just get another land out of the deck, so make it, you know, less likely to draw another land. So they have two instants right now. Uh, so Terramander is a long ways away from being active. Doing the hard math over here. Ugh. 
Boom. Go, go, resplendent angel. <laughs> Thanks, Eddie. Uh, no, I'm not watching the Oscars today, you know. I'm, uh... Uh... Or, oh, I think you're saying... Okay, if that's a question, if I'm watching the Oscars, I'm, I'm not going to be watching them because, you know, I'll be... You know, here streaming and everything. Uh, I'm surprised the Oscars aren't already on. If they're on, if they're on tonight. It's like eight o'clock at night. They're not on yet. It's actually pretty surprising to me. Attack! Oh, uh, okay. It comes on at at eight o'clock. Gotcha. Well, if y'all are watching it, I hope you keep me on the another screen also. Hope so. Yeah, even River, River's Rebuke would be kind of rough for sure. Uh, Sleep, not so much, but River's Rebuke would, you know, get rid of all these tokens. I, I could see Black Panther winning Best Picture. Um, I could honestly see that happening. Oh, with the cultural impact the movies had, um, I, I could see that winning Best Picture. I did hear today, um, I heard about uh, the story of um, how Saving Private, Private Ryan didn't win an Oscar um, when it was, uh, I don't remember the movie that won, was it like Romeo and Juliet? Uh, some kind of Romeo and Juliet movie, Shakespeare in Love. That's what it was. Shakespeare in Love was the one that that won, and and I I found out about all the, the controversy behind that of how basically the Shakes how the Shakespeare in Love um, director I assume it was the director how whoever with that movie uh, just basically paid for the Oscar um, for like all the stuff they did of um, uh, like finding every like anyone that had a, an Oscar vote. Um, and um, and uh, basically, there's like a lot of there's a lot of people with with there was a lot of old people with Oscar votes that uh, that were part of the Academy at one time that had bas that basically you know stopped voting. They were in retirement homes and everything like that. Um, and so they went around and found everybody. Um, gave them all their own special screenings, you know, like sent them, to, sent them the movies and uh, even had like people come visit them and, and everything and all sent them all copies of like Shakespeare in Love. And they're all like, oh yeah, this is a, a great, a great film, you know? And they, you know, felt real good for all the special treatment they were getting. And, and, uh, and they hired other people that were on the Academy that had votes to, um, you know, tied to try to, you know, scrounge up more votes and all that kind of stuff. And, um, is you know like a a huge thing and so everybody thought saving private ryan was going to win because it was just the the best movie hands down like wasn't you know it wasn't even debatable or anything but uh the person bought enough votes and everything and basically turned it into like a political campaign kind of thing um Breeding Pool Forest. Let's go Honor Guard. Anyway, uh, what's... So, next question. What do you think about the Mythic Championship this weekend? Any thoughts? Ooh, Prime Speaker Vanifar. Alright, opponent. You have my attention. I'm in there. Oh, it is final boss time. Thanks, Godzilla. Good... Good call. 
Sorry, I was just kind of talking there and just... Rats, final boss time. Here we go. Dun 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 dun. Because we are currently, yeah, we are currently 4 and 0, oh, so we need to defeat this to get our 5 wins. This is our final boss. Yeah, Honor Guard uh, did its job stopping this, har this harpooner. Honor Guard's probably going to do a whole lot against the Vanifar deck. Um, I think from what it... I'm guessing <laughs> it still doesn't work. Uh, I'm guessing Ooze, uh, Biogenic Ooze, is going to be the card that I'm going to be most scared of. Oh, no, 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 why did I attack? No, they have reach. Okay, they have reach. I was talking about Biogenic Ooze. Here, high five. High five? No. All right, fine, I know. It was a bad play. There's the Biogenic Ooze. Hmm. Carnage Tyrant, huh? I think it's pretty big. All right, Hawkeye, you're on the way. Yep, that was a, I should not attack with the Splendid Angel there. I should not have traded with a Harpooner. Stupid vanguards. Not doing anything. Alright. Opponent the final boss got game one. Cat's name is Hawkeye. Let's get these vanguards out of here. Uh, let's get the bindings in. Um settles in. Hmm. Anything else? I'm taking one of these out. What am I taking out? I do like Vivian's. Yeah, our, so yeah, our opponent got... Um, there's a three-mana clone card that they got from the... Um, let's take out one of Johnny. There's a three-mana clone they got from the Harpooner. I don't remember the name of the card. Mirror Image. There you go. So they got they got Mirror Image to get it to clone the Carnage Tyrant. All right, at least we have removal for uh, Prime Speaker. The Prime Speaker now. It's not Prime Speaker Zagana. Whatever that one is. Looks like our opponent is really trying to beat Mono Blue. Looks like they're playing a, a whole bunch of Harpooners main deck. Um, at least I assume so. We saw, you know, multiple. We saw like two Harpooners main deck. Um, I'm not going to binding the Rhythm of the Wild, I don't think. I, I think I'm going to sit back and 
um, and wait for them to play the prime speaker. Vanifar, there you go, prime speaker Vanifar. So Orasonic, is that is that song on? Um, is it on Spotify? And if because that's the thing that like my playlist has it has to be songs on Spotify uh, specifically um, for being able to you know I play the music through Spotify to be able to I have a, I have it on the separate audio track so it's not on YouTube recording. No Vanifar for you. Yeah, it's Kali Honor Guard's been really good for us here. Lifer, thank you so much for painless. that, for the sub. We are we are two packs behind. Did I I might have forgotten to get get packs before joining this queue. I'm thinking that's the case. Thanks, Li Lifer. Thank you so much. Knight of Grace has not been performing too particularly well for us. Um, I haven't, I haven't really liked it over, say, like a Tithe Taker so far. Um, I think the the main thing that Knight of Grace is is really good against is uh, Soul Tie. I think that's where it's better than Tithe Taker, is that matchup. But we haven't played against Soul Tie at all. Feature also getting that Twitch Prime sub in. See the great content and the Hawkeye cameos come in. Aw, thanks, Feature. Yeah, that, that sell record is not doing a whole lot for us. Uh, Gruel Spell Breaker in play. We cannot cast the settle record. Well, I mean, we can. We can target ourselves. So number 27. Going to game three against the final boss. Okay, just want to remind you all um, that after this, not only are we going to be getting two two packs. Uh, remember, if we win this, if we win this game, we'll be getting our two packs, um, and then we'll be playing a uh, a clip from Old Spice, a breath of fresh air, breath of fresh air clip. Uh, so I hope you all stick around through that. Um, cause then I'll earn revenue based on the number of people in here. So I hope you all stick around if you want to help support. Um, I would appreciate that. Uh, besides that, if we, if we lose though, then we're going on after we get our two packs, we're going to, of course, our final boss part two, uh, cause you know, we're playing until we get two losses and then we'll be watching the clip after that. So Sky Tether, I don't think we need Sky Tether. It doesn't, it doesn't stop uh, the Prime Speaker Vanifar. 
which is a, a big, which is definitely an important deal. It's something that we really need to stop. Hey, what's up, track team? Um, honestly, this may, I don't know if this is my favorite Angels deck. Maybe if, maybe this deck should play a little bit of black and get some Sarah for the scales. I missed that card. Um, but I, I do like having all the Kral Harpooners in the sideboard um, in this Angels deck. Sky Tether does not stop the creatures from activating their abilities. They can still just activate their abilities just fine. Um, and they did have turn three Vanifar again. That's rough. I don't have any removal for it. I guess they, th they thought the mirror image would copy the 3 3 crisis, I suppose. That's a 0 0. Entering the battlefield is a copy of a 0 0. Alright, try again. Same thing, same thing. Maybe it'll work this time. Nah. They didn't do the same thing. Yeah, Spellbreaker is definitely really annoying. Can't even do anything with Settle. basically birthing pod. Yep. At least our opponent's been helping us out here. Just sacrificing their creatures and not doing anything with them. They just sacrificed this one and got nothing. Like... Like, maybe they don't have another three in their deck. That's the problem with, like, playing a bunch of treasure maps. Like, treasure maps are not creatures that you can get. Like, they may not have another three CMC card to get. Let's do this. Mike says, if today confirmed anything, it's that I have no idea to play Magic. Those plays were ridiculous. <laughs> I, I don't think you, you have no idea to play Magic just because of how our opponent's playing. Um, yeah. KMC and Dragon Shields, are they're pretty similar. Um... Different people like, you know, some people like KMC, some people like Dragon Shields. You can't really go wrong. They're both good. Um, yeah, you can't really go wrong. Yeah, no problem. Missed your question from earlier? Yeah. I, I certainly miss questions sometimes, and so just, yeah, always feel free to, to re-ask a question. 
Um, but anyway, uh, I'm playing a, a version of Bant Midrange Angels. So our opponent could have just... They could have fought the Lyra and then Lava Coiled the 5-4. Oh well. The final boss didn't make the, the best of plays, but... Anyway, uh, I run into a lot of issues with early aggro and Gates decks. Do you have any suggestions to counter these decks? Um, the early aggro decks, uh, you just... Like, depending on whatever... Uh, you know, whatever version you're playing, you can be playing... Like, if you're playing red-white, you can play, like, Deafening Clarion is awesome. Sky Tether... Um, if you want to play more Sky Tethers. Um, I know somebody that plays Lesnia Angels quite a bit that really likes beating Mono Blue, and they play a bunch of Isolates and Sky Tethers. Um, so that's that's another option if you really want to beat Mono Blue is Isolate. Um, so yeah, it is pack time. Let's get a couple packs. So Lesnia Angels went 5-0. Felt pretty good. The Harpooners were awesome. Um... That was certainly a good addition. Not Still not sold on the Knight of Grace. It felt like the worst card in the deck. Um, could certainly see this being Tithe Taker being better than the Knight of Grace. Um, but everything else was pretty good. Pretty good. Okay, should be back. I don't know what happened there with the mic. Sorry about that. So we're getting a Rivals and an Ixalan pack. Kinjali Sunwing. Gates is going to be a pretty tough matchup to win. Um, yeah, bi Binding is probably the best. Yeah, I like I like Binding against the, in that matchup. That's a good it's a good option. All right, Kinjali Sunwing's a, a pretty good rare. I, I like that card quite a bit. And what do we got here? A Dead Man's Chest. Um, I don't think Hawkeye hit the mute button, because the, the mute button wasn't hit. It just kind of... It's like it it was registering that it disconnected. Um, so there we go. All right. Um, Slesnia Angels played pretty good. Pretty good. We're gonna have to gonna have to keep on working on this one. This deck feels like it's in a pretty good spot. Uh, we did not play against any control, and control is gonna be what I am the most worried about. And we didn't see any control, but there we go. All right. If you're watching this later on on YouTube, of course, don't forget to hit that subscribe button. And thanks for watching. I'll see you for the next video.